everyone and thank you once again for joining me here at Art Life. My name is Mrs B and today I have a bit of a different task for you. Normally I would show you what the product looks like but we're not focusing on an outcome or a product today. It's all about the process. today's activity is to have a go at using some mindfulness strategies, some self-expressive strategies to create a relaxed art lesson all about the process, not the outcome. Mindfulness teaches us to pay full attention to something. It means that we're going to slow down so we can notice the things that we're doing and the things that are around us. Being mindful is the opposite to multitasking or rushing around, which I do a lot of. So it's very good to be mindful sometimes. It means to take your time and be focused in a relaxed, easygoing sort of way. Now, I'm used to doing a lot of multitasking in my life. I'm generally quite busy and I'm rushing around. So I thought it would be a great practice for me to learn. So I've been looking into mindfulness a lot lately and then thought I would put what I've learned into a lesson for you guys to follow along to learn some mindfulness at home through art. Now this task is appropriate for kids or adults and it takes about 15 minutes. I'll go through three different mindfulness or self-expressive techniques that I've learnt to help us to notice what we're doing, notice our breath and use the things around us to inspire our drawing or our art today. And while you're here, please make sure that you subscribe below and give me a thumbs up if you've liked this mindfulness activity. Let's get started. Thank you for joining me for this mindfulness exercise today. I am an art teacher, I am not an art therapist, and there is a difference, but I have been looking closely into mindfulness lately, and I hope I've created a lesson that you can use to help to relieve any stress you might be feeling and just be present within the current moment that you're in. Now, all you need today is a piece of paper and a pen, and if you have some colored materials like crayons, that will help as well. It doesn't need to be a pretty piece of paper. I'm literally using a scrap notebook at the moment to show you that you don't need fancy art materials to do this task. Now, this lesson is all about self-expression and there's no right or wrong way to make this artwork. It is self-guided by the things that mean something to you and that matter to you in this present moment. Please just use my voice as a guide for your own artwork and your own drawing today. Now, mindfulness is all about being present within the moment that you are in. So we're going to try to do that now by noticing some things around us. Now, try to listen to the techniques I'm giving you to breathe deeply and to use art as you're being mindful. Now, the first task we're going to do together is called drawing the breath. Now, in noticing our breath and breathing deeply and breathing slowly, we're going to try to draw this as a line. I'm just going to start on the side of my picture here. And when I breathe in, I'm going to move my pen up toward the top of the paper. And as I begin to breathe out, I'm going to bring it down to the bottom of my paper. And my drawing is going to recognize the flow of my breath. Now, the idea is not to breathe in a fast way so that our, our pen goes like this. We want it to be nice, long, deep breaths. And for you to really notice the breath going in and out of your lungs. So let's start now. As you're breathing, go up. And as you start to breathe out, turn your pen downward. When you breathe in again, move it upward. And down. In. And out. 
As you're drawing, try to aim to take nice deep breaths and continue this motion in and out for the next minute. I'll place some nice music on and I want you to focus on the in and out of your breath. Your drawing does not need to be perfect. Well done, everybody. The next mindfulness exercise we're going to do today is to notice the things that are around us by using our five senses. Those senses are what you smell around you, what you are touching around you, maybe the surface that you're working on, the texture of the things that you can touch around you. What do you hear? What can you see? And if you have anything in your mouth, what can you taste? You, you might not be able to use your taste sense at the moment, for example, but you can hone into one of the other senses. Just focus on one for today. And whatever you focus on, I want you to try to really notice it. How does it make you feel? And what might it look like as a line? and begin to draw what it is that you're noticing. So you might be able to see members of your family. That might make you feel happy or loved. And you could draw that as one line. You might be able to hear some birds or some things in the background and you could maybe Draw what you hear, the music, within a line as well. Your line is very likely to look different to mine because we're able to see different things at the moment. If nothing necessarily inspires you around where you are right now, I'm going to play more music and you could use that sound to inspire the line that you draw for the next minute. Really listen. Wonderful. Now I hope during that task you weren't concentrating on what I was drawing, but you're concentrating on the senses that you were feeling and what that might look like in a line. These types of exercises really help to notice the things around us and that means being mindful and in the present moment. For the next exercise, I'd love for you to think about three things that are making you happy today, right now course the things that 
you think of will be very different to the things that are making me happy. There are some things within this world at the moment that are scary that might make us feel anxious, but we're not focusing on those in this present moment. We're thinking of, of things that are positive, that are in our life, that bring us joy. You can write them in the corner of your page. Today, in my present moment, we are in lockdown due to the coronavirus. And so we don't have much else except for what is in our home. And the only thing we're allowed to do at the moment is go for a walk. So walking is bringing me joy at the moment. And of course, my two daughters, Sadie and Delilah, bring me joy every day. So they're my three things that are bringing me joy and making me happy in this present moment. With your three things, I'd like for you, if you have some coloured crayons, coloured textures, coloured pastels, something coloured that you have at home, I'd love for you to now designate a colour to each of these three things that make you feel happy. You only need three colours. Sadie's in yellow because she's very bright and happy kind of personality. So she just makes me think of the happiest colour of all, which is yellow. Delilah is two years old and she is full of beans and very energetic. So that makes me think of orange. And walking and being out in nature makes me think of green. So now with the last two minutes of this exercise, I'd love for you to use these three colors within your mindfulness kind of line here. You may choose to do a different artwork. It doesn't really need to be of anything. It can just sort of represent the things that make you happy in an abstract way, in a realistic way. And this exercise will just help you to really think about these three positive things in your life and focus on them for the next two minutes while you're drawing. Well done, everybody. I hope that this exercise has helped you to try to focus to be within the present moment and find joy and happiness within the moment you're in. Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. That was said by Picasso, and I think his words are absolutely...
please feel free to repeat this exercise daily. Your artwork might change based on the day and based on what you're focusing on each day. And it can be used at the beginning of an art lesson. It can be used at the beginning of your day. It can be used in any situation and anywhere you are. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed this mindfulness art task today. enjoyed this mindfulness exercise today please leave a message down below if you enjoyed yourself and hit like and subscribe if you'd like more lessons in the future thank you for joining me here at art life and i really hope you've enjoyed getting mindful today